grommet curtains. Why do we hate them so bad? Why do they get such a bad rep? And why all of a sudden are they the tacky curtains that you just shouldn't put into your home? Are they tacky or are they just living under the shadow of the pinch pleat curtain? Let's talk about it. Historically, grommet curtains have been used in traditional decorated spaces. But now if you take a deeper look into how people are using grommet curtains, you'll see them more in the transitional, traditional looking homes. And, or our favorite, the pinch pleated look. So when did it transition from let's not use the grommet to instead use the pinch pleat? And why is that becoming more of a thing? Now, you could say, we don't like the grommet curtain because of the exposed rod. And if you don't want to expose the rod, then you should go something with a rod pocket curtain. However, you're seeing more rods being exposed with the use of the rings. We added rings to add a little bit of extra glamour to your curtains by adding these decorated accessories. So you're still seeing that rod, but now it's with the pinch pleat look instead of with the grommet look. I think it has a lot more to do with the trend of these days and people easily throwing out the idea of the grommet. Now, personally, I don't care for the grommet curtain, but I don't understand why they're getting such a bad rep and now being labeled as tacky. With all things is how you style them. I have seen beautifully styled grommet curtains used in more of a traditional look these days or that, that granny chic style that has been taking over the internet. If done right, you can definitely use the grommet curtains however you see fit into your space. Obviously, there's a right and wrong way of how to hang them. And so let's take a look at a few right and wrong ways of doing curtains in general. Starting off with the wrong way to hang your drapery. Y'all, remember that the rule of thumb is to hang your treatments tall and wide. You want to elongate those windows and those walls. You do not want to truncate them. And at the very least, ensure that your fabric is at least kissing the floor and maybe not marrying it too much. But if you do love that puddle look, it can be done righteously. It just needs to ensure that it's perfectly functional for your space because if you have a robot vacuum like I do, it will get tugged. I think that this last photo is the perfect example of how you should hang your drapery. It's just kissing the floor. It's hung tall, it's hung wide. It elongates the already expansive French doors. It's chef's kiss. Let's not fall into the trends of every single thing and every single piece that you should X or keep into your space. Take a look at how you can properly install them and leave it at that. Go free and do what it is that's right for your space and your taste. Look at the fabric, look at how it lays and how it drapes over a wall. And that will be the telltale sign of if you should go with that particular company to buy said curtains. That's my TED Talk of the day. Be sure to check out Two Pages Curtains.